Hey there, Sunbelt fans. I'm your host, Katie Morris, and welcome to Sunbelt Conference Weekly. Two Sunbelt softball teams are going dancing, and we've got everything you need to get ready for regionals. We'll also preview the 2016 Baseball Championship, as well as take a look back at the 2016 Outdoor Track and Field Championship. It's all right here, so stick around and watch Sunbelt Conference Weekly. The UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns and the Texas State Bobcats are going dancing as they secured bids to the 2016 NCAA Softball Regionals, and they wrapped up an exciting 2016 tournament championship. Let's take a look ahead to this weekend and take a look back at the highlights. The UL Lafayette Raging Cajuns and the Texas State Bobcats will represent the Sunbelt Conference in the 2016 NCAA Softball Regionals. The Cajuns were crowned Sunbelt Conference champions and awarded the league's automatic bid into the postseason after topping Texas State in the championship game. Macy Smith led the way in the circle, while Aaliyah Creighton was named as the tournament's most outstanding player. Lambson Park will play host to a regional for the third consecutive season, as the Cajuns will welcome three more teams to Lafayette on Friday. The first game of the double elimination tournament will feature Texas A&M and Texas in a 3.30 p.m. game. The Cajuns will face Boston University at 6 on ESPNU. The Texas State Bobcats will make their first postseason appearance since 2012 in the Tuscaloosa Regional, hosted by the University of Alabama. The Bobcats will play Cal in their 7th NCAA Regional appearance in school history at 1.30 p.m. on Friday. It marks the second time in school history the Bobcats have received an at-large bid. For more information on where you can watch this weekend, check out sunbeltsports.org. The name Lexi Elkins has become synonymous with UL Lafayette softball, and I got a chance to travel to Lafayette and chat with the player herself. Let's take a look. Over the years, some of the country's most talented female athletes have stepped across the foul lines and made their mark at Lambson Park. But many would argue that the biggest mark has been made by one player, and she's not quite done yet. Here's the 0-2 pitch to Elkins. Ball hit in the air, deep center field, back to the wall, it's gone! Lexi Elkins on an 0-2 pitch. Lexi Elkins has become the driving force behind Raging Cajun softball, commanding home plate from every side. As the Cajun's starting catcher and offensive leader, she has shattered records and racked up countless accolades. It's her understanding of the game, I think, that sets her apart. It's not that she's just a grinder and, and she just works, 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 works. That's not what makes her special. What makes her special is the way that she comprehends the game and the way she sees the game and the way the game comes to her. But perhaps the most significant notch in the record book for Lexi came on April 14, 2016, when she was selected by the Pennsylvania Rebellion in the 2016 National Pro Fast Pitch College Senior Draft as the number one overall pick. A first time number one pick for the University of Louisiana. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to happen. If you told me five years ago it would happen, I'd probably be like, no, you know, that's never in my wildest dreams. But uh, just to have everybody there was the most important thing. It's hard to imagine UL Lafayette softball without her. But what's even harder to imagine is that being a raging Cajun wasn't always a part of Lexi's plan. Alexandria Elkins signed with Texas Tech in 2013 after graduating a semester early from Victoria East High School. When she should have been attending senior prom and signing yearbooks, she was behind the plate as a Red Raider at the age of 17. I kind of got anxious because I was a senior. I was feeling like pressure to commit somewhere. So I didn't take my, I didn't take a visit here. I called Coach Mike once on the phone. And um, after my freshman year at Tech, I kind of decided that I should make a change. And whenever I thought about where I should transfer in my mind, this was the first place. I didn't want to go anywhere else. So. And she wasted no time. Obviously her production her first year was amazing. She was an All-American her first year. I mean, it took, it took some, some time for her transition in, in terms of getting to know the personalities and developing the relationships with the players. But in terms of knowing the game and playing the game and feeling comfortable doing softball, she transitioned right away. Whenever I first came in here, they welcomed me with open, open arms. And I think that's like the biggest thing. They take everybody in, they love everybody as their own. And um, knowing that whether I succeed or whether I fail, they're always gonna be there for me uh, is important. In just three seasons at UL Lafayette, Lexi has become arguably the most impactful player in Raging Cajun history. She has led the NCAA in almost every offensive category, 
set new school records, and won a list of awards that's longer than her braids. And it would be hard to find anyone saying she doesn't deserve every single honor. She's the whole package. She's very smart with the game. She knows how to hit. There's not many pitchers that she'll face that she's going to be thrown off by. But at the same time, she, um, she's like a shoulder to lean on. But Coach Loti thinks the biggest impact isn't one in the record books. It's the one Lexi has left on those around her. And to see the excitement of her teammates around her, I was so happy for her. And then to, to hear the community, you know, the, this community is so softball savvy. They love softball. So the community got excited. You know, it's like when you know a famous person and you're in the airport, you say, hey man, I know so-and-so. Well now that's what I'm gonna do, you know? I'm gonna be like, hey, I know Lexi Elkins. We haven't seen the last of Lexi Elkins, whose softball career will continue past the collegiate level. And if you happen to have a ticket to a game she's playing in, be sure to sit behind the outfield wall. You may just catch a piece of history. For the Sunbelt Conference, I'm Katie Morse. The Arkansas State men's team and the South Alabama women's squad claimed the 2016 Outdoor Track and Field Conference Championship titles last weekend. Let's take a look back at some of the meet's biggest moments. The Arkansas State men and the South Alabama women took home the 2016 Sunbelt Men's and Women's Outdoor Track and Field Championship titles on Sunday. The Red Wolves entered the final day of competition in second place, trailing leader South Alabama by two points. Led by a pair of first place performances by Jalen Bacon, another championship by Ralph Pinar, and a host of second place finishes, A-State totaled 94.5 points on the day to finish with 149.5, 11 points ahead of runner-up South Alabama. Bacon, the men's high point scorer with 22.25 points, posted the top qualifying time in both the 100 and 200 meter dash on Saturday and followed that effort up taking the gold in each event. He won the 100 meter dash with a time of 10.25 seconds and raced the 200 meter dash title with a time of 20.75 seconds. Well, yeah, Jalen did uh, an outstanding job. You know, he's a great talent, he's a good kid, he's a hard worker, and uh, you know, we're just lucky to have him. And, you know, any anytime, you know, someone uh, steps up and gets a win and gets things rolling, it's, it's kind of contagious and that's, that's what happened to us today. The A-State women put up a valiant effort and finished second in the final team standings to South Alabama, which claimed its first outdoor track and field title since 1999. A-State's Christina Knott, the top women's scorer, took gold in the 100 and 200 meter dash. She posted a time of 11.44 seconds in the 100 and a school record time of 23.3 seconds in the 200 meter dash. She totaled 27.5 points. With one weekend of play left until the 2016 Baseball Championships, the competition is bigger than ever. Let's see who stood out and check out this week's Community Coffee Student Athletes of the Week. UT Arlington's Colton Turner is the Community Coffee Student Athlete of the Week for the second week in a row. The slugger from Round Rock, Texas hit safely eight times and 14 at-bats in three games, five going for extra bases. He opened the weekend going three for five with a double and a solo home run. A day later, he went two for four with a double and an eight to three victory and finished off the weekend a triple short of a cycle. Little Rock's Corey Malcolm is the pitcher of the week after he had his best career outing throwing a complete game shutout in the Trojans 17 to nothing win at ULM. Malcolm tied a career high with nine strikeouts as he became the first Little Rock pitcher to throw a nine inning complete game since 2011. Malcolm only allowed three hits and two walks on exactly 100 pitches as he earned the fifth win of the season. And that'll wrap up this edition of Sunbelt Conference Weekly. For everything you need to know about the softball regionals this weekend and for tickets to the 2016 baseball championships, just visit sunbeltsports.org. For all of us here at the Sunbelt Conference, I'm your host, Katie Morse. Thanks for watching.